Another day, another disc. Well, in this case, two discs. The first disc is... It says window dressing, and apparently it's got bitmap files, screensavers, etc. And it's a double density disc, uh, non-branded. And under the label, we actually have uh, another label, which says Soundwave Disc 3, by the look of it. But that is uh, long gone. The second disc is a Sony double density, again. Uh, it contains Windows, desktop picks, BMPs, files, etc. So we've got many uh, Windows pictures and dressings and things, I imagine. So let's um, let's begin with the first, and that is this one, the Windows dressing disk. Uh, okay, so we've got a go.exe and a readme.txt. Windows dressing, six screensavers, plus other enhancements for your Windows desktop. The Windows dressing disk requires Windows 3.1 and includes an install program. Excellent! Let's go to Windows then. So, here we are. Windows 3.1, a familiar territory for us now. Okay, we're not on disk 8 anymore, we are on disk number 9. Okay, so if we uh, believe what we're told, if we run go, yes, we should have an installation. Okay, screensavers, wallpapers and other programs and files. Here's the uh, readme file. Sharks and fish, maze, clock, leak, spider, dinos. What else have we got? Changer. The PC magazine Changer U30 keeps your Windows system looking fresh by swapping the screensaver. IKE icon editor, sys font, eyeballs. Oh yes, let's get involved and see what see what's going on. Yeah, we'll put it there. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, I remember. I remember these files. <laughs> I look. This is one of my favourite programs. Eyeballs. Where is it? It normally, yeah, it puts these eyeballs in an icon, and they just follow your mouse cursor around. Simple things <laughs> mean a lot. Oh, I used to love that program. What else have we got? We've got a changer that changes the screensaver. It says. Uh, and the colors okay so you can add so we can change all the windows um uh colors and themes randomly all right let's start that uh wallpaper yeah let's add all this wallpaper in yeah all of it okay uh screensaver oh, let's go to background screensaver okay add all these it should rotate through all these desktop pattern. We've got um, images, so we don't really want a pattern. Uh, is that is it ready? What, how do we run it? Is it is it going to go the next time we start up? I don't know. Um, let's minimise it. Let's look at changer notes. Changer let gives let changer lets you give your Windows 3.1 desktop a different look every time you bring it up. Okay, so every time we start. You can also configure changer to present your chosen selections. Uh, how do I, how do, okay, using changer. It only takes a few minutes to install and configure. If you keep changing it in your PC mag on the command line, uh, do we have to run it from DOS beforehand? Let's have a look. Yeah, so apparently this runs automatically, so uh, we'll restart Windows in a bit and see what happens. Uh, we've also got coffee. Uh, what does the coffee mug do? Oh, we've got a nice warming effect on the coffee mug. Can you see that? Let's, um, we'll probably be able to see that clearer when we change the background from this red brick. I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything. It's just like a little thing that sits in the corner and... Oh, we've got, we've got an empty copy mug, so it tells us... Okay, let's... Why? This must have a purpose, surely. The, the toggle boolean's copy mug pushes the desktop metaphor of computing further than before. Until now, there have been notepads. When you start a copy mug, your mug will be full and your coffee will be hot. Be careful, though. If you move a window on top of your copy mug, you may spill it, which is <laughs> sure to ruin your day. If this happens, you can upright the mug. Your coffee will get cold after 20 minutes. At this point, you may wish to get another coffee by closing your mug. And oh, so it's just like a virtual coffee mug. So, okay, so if we upright the mug and then we move this window 
Let, let's can we fill it? Is it full? Okay, we it's empty, so we, we've knocked it over, so we have to start it again. All right, we've got a full coffee now, and it's hot. But if I move this window into it, boom! It spills everywhere. Nice, nice. Just things to pass the time in Windows 3.1. I used to spend so much of my time pissing around with things like this. Okay, we've got an icon editor here. Ico view. Clip. It's a clipboard. Oh, yeah. Let's make that a bit nicer. Oh, yeah. It's something. Someone's puked up all over the clipboard. We like that. We'll save that. Yeah, man. And sys font. And we can change the system font. So we can change it to uh, wingdings. Oh, we need ants. Oh, oh, I think. Can we do that? Bob, can we can we do this? Something terrible has gone wrong. Oh my god! Some. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll restart Windows in a second, then we could should come back with um. Uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Windings, which will be entertaining. Anyway, we've got uh, there's all the uh, programs. Let's have a look at the actual screensavers we get with this delightful crock of a program. All right, so we've got patterns here. Let's see, we what wallpapers did we get? We must have got some wallpapers. Uh, these are pretty standard. Rainbow, I think, is a new one. Oh yeah, that's nice. That looks like a spectrum loading screen. And we've also got honey. Is that a standard one? I can't quite remember. Uh, we've got home, home sweet home. This is the sort of thing you'd find in some sort of Tennessee computer on some family who devoutly worship God, isn't it? I imagine. I'm speculating. Egypt is a standard one. Uh, cement 1K. It's gonna be a big picture. Is this? This is. This can't be. This has got to be. No, this isn't. This is something completely different. Let's have a look at the screensavers. Okay, so standard screen. Okay, amazing is a new one. Oh, it's very slow to load. Oh, it's a tiny little maze, and the butterfly thing, crazy thing, goes through it. It reminds me of um. But other Spectrum game, uh, top down, I can't remember what it's called. What the hell is it called? Where well, you're like a safari bloke going through a jungle type thing. Really well known. Anyway, can we make that bigger? Full screen. Uh, let's have a spook. And uh, let's have. Ooh, yes, pyramid. It's computing. It's taking a little while to compute. Oh, yeah. It's a ghost. It's a Pac Man style ghost. I wonder what happens when he gets to the exit. Oh, I can't be bothered to wait and find out. Okay, we've got clock, which is new, which is just a clock. I imagine we can probably change it to oh, a talking clock. Does it actually talk or does it just stay the text? It just says the text. It doesn't actually talk. Dinosaurs! Hello, mate. Look at his legs. Are you in a hurry? Are you going to miss your bus? Can we change the dinosaur? Yeah, T-Rex only. Come on, little T-Rex. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, my, oh my God. Are you on a slip? Is he running across an ice rink? Have you a bit of a problem? I just noticed that my wallpaper now says as hard as a rock and as dumb as a brick. Is that in relation to Windows NT? I hope someone's got a bit of a grudge there. Okay, uh, schmelzen, schmelzen. Uh, this is melting. We've had done that one before with something. Was it the same program? Sharks and fish. Oh, the shark eats the shit out of the fish. Can we, um, let's have a mature shark, mature fish. Fish sense zero or very low. Where's the shark? What does maturity do? 
So that's a mature, mature shark. Let's see what an immature shark is like. Exactly the fucking same! What's the difference? Maybe he knows more. Maybe he knows where the fish are. Spider! Incy wincy spider clock. Oh god, that's quite freaky. That would probably freak me out if this was a full size screen. Oh my god. Minutes for spider. 15 minutes for the spider? What does that even mean? Oh, that's quite freaky. Um, is that it? Is that all the ones here? Leaking roof? And we've got some water drips. I love these ones where they retain the picture of your desktop. It just blurs it. They were always my favourite. Let's get 15 drops on screen. Oh, that is nice. I love how it smudges the crap out of it. And I think that is probably it. Flying blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, let me, let's check the second disc while we're here and then we'll restart Windows and see uh, if those programs have worked. So I should have disc, there we go, disc 10. All right, so we've got some stuff here. What's this? I see, my dad used to work for HMSO and I've obviously copied a file off the old computer. HMSO property was damaged. Oh. Oh, it wasn't damaged. This is just a damage report in case you do damage the equipment. How interesting. Okay, we've got some zip files. I haven't got a, a, a DOS zip, pro, a Windows zip program. We're going to have to go back to DOS. We'll go to DOS, we'll unzip them, and then we'll come back to Windows in a second. Okay, so we're back in Windows and we have our Windings font. And we haven't got a different background though. I'm disappointed. Maybe it's because I manually changed the background. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Have a look at window dressing and see what we can do about this. Uh, oh God, this font thing is quite upsetting now. <laughs> Tactical error, perhaps. I might have to change this font to something a little more friendly. Uh, let's change it to something like that and uh, come back again. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. even oh shit all right um let's uh <laughs> i'm gonna exit windows i can't work out bugger buggery ah delightful that's a bit better now why isn't this change of program working why aren't you working we've got all this in we've got random change maybe i have to uh maybe it's one of those ones where you have to set the background wallpaper to a specific one which comes with the program and then it changes that wallpaper so yeah, what it would be let's just change that to zeros what's that that is nothing that is that is there's nothing there wait a second wait a second no no settings Oh, this is not very helpful, PC Magazine Changer Program. You have not provided me with much help. Let's go on to disk 10. I've unzipped everything on disk 10 now. It's just basically a lot of uh, bitmaps. So let's have a look at what these bitmaps are. This is a picture I made for my old computer. In paintbrush, probably. It was an Advent 4250, 486DX250. Nice bit of my um, handiwork from back in the day. I've made a few. We've got Advent 2. Personal computer. Oh, I've jazzed things up a bit. Advent 3. Oh, look at this. I'm trying different fonts. I'm going crazy. Advent 4. Oh, that is, I think I would have settled on that one. That is the nicest of the bunch. Probably my desktop background until I got a nicer one. Uh, we've got icons.bmp. So that is just a selection of icons. Lotus Ami Pro, Visual Basic. These are things I had installed on my computer. Paint Shop Pro, great shareware paint program. I still use it. Uh, the new version, X, 
six or something. X eight. Icons three. This is oh, I've kind of filled the background in yellow. Maybe I was trying to make something for a Visual Basic program I was doing because I used to try and make a oh interplay. Nice. I used to try and make programs like the uh, Windows 95. Oh, yeah, I remember that as the novel background. I was well impressed by that. 3D rendered and everything. Yeah, I used to make programs like the Windows 95 uh, start bar for, for, for use in Windows 3.1. That's in one of my previous videos. There's me! There's a tiny picture of me. Did I have my face tiled as a background? That's going to be quite freaky, isn't it? Let's, 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 um, let's, let's do this. Let's have my face on the background. A, a young me. Copy that to Windows. Yes, move it across. Let's go to... Oh, I can't find anything. Because I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Okay, what was it called? Anyone, rem anyone remember? Uh, what was I looking for today? What was it called? What is it called? It's called Tile. Hey, that's not not narcissistic at all, is it? All right, let's go back to File Manager. Uh, we've got Tile Three. Oh, there's my dad. Picture of my dad there. Very low resolution. Tile 4 is a picture of my mum in even smaller resolution there. You can kind of make it out. So I presume Tile 5 is a picture of my brother. I wonder what I was... Oh, it's me again. Hello. <laughs> nice haircut. Looking interesting, my young self. Uh, we've got, what's that? Win clip. Win one dot clip. I don't know what a CLP file is. I have no idea. Anyway, that kind of brings to a close the contents of these discs. Don't know about you, but I'm going to um, make myself a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Ah, shit! Oh, man, I completely forgot to show you this. But the coffee mug, when you move it about, it leaves a coffee ring everywhere after you've spilt it. How, oh, <laughs> how awesome is that? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it.